ese momento, Cell sintió el verdadero terror. Hey guys, so I am here in the elevator. I'm gonna go to my ultrasound, my first ultrasound. I just got out of my doctor's appointment. I saw my baby, I heard my baby's heartbeat. Guys, I'm so excited and nervous. Excuse my voice, I've been <clears throat> extremely sick these past few days. Um, but I just went to uh, my clinic to pick up. In here, it shows or it's the results of the gender of my baby. I'm so excited to open it. Ivan, are you team boy or girl? Boy, Are you team boy or girl? You want mommy's baby to be a boy or a girl? A girl. <laughs> So I'm doing the glucose test today and I just got my drink and they gave me six minutes to drink it. It's really not that bad. I'm so hungry and I can't eat because of this. And I still have to wait an hour for them to draw my blood. And then I can go eat. I want a burger with fries. I'm so hungry. It's currently 12.06 and I haven't eaten anything since last night. Okay, finally done. Now I can go eat. It's like a reward. So I came to walk because I'm really trying to get this baby out. I had to get induced with both of my boys and I'm trying to have just this natural birth this time. Hey guys, so I just woke up from a nap and come with me to my last appointment. All right guys, I took a shower and I just got here at the hospital, or actually at the clinic. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I just got out. Okay, now I can talk better. So, um, my due date is on the 21st, which is Friday. So, if my baby doesn't come by then, um, I am getting induced on Monday at 5 in the morning. I'm really hoping that he comes before uh, Monday because I've had to be induced with my other two. And I really want to just experience my water breaking and okay so I'm at the hospital I was not 
Honestly, I was not expecting to um, to come to the hospital, but I felt like my water broke, and so and so um, I decided to just come and get checked. And <coughs> ouch! And um, they told me I am five centimeters dilated, so they're gonna keep me here. Okay, so today is April 20th. It's 11.15. And um, they checked me a while ago. And they told me I was 5 centimeters dilated. So they were going to keep me. Um, I've been having mild contractions. Um, nothing too bad. They already got everything started. So I'm just waiting. Um update you guys so when i got here i was already five centimeters it is um 12 56 and i am six centimeters now my contractions are getting closer and stronger and my doctor is not here so um they have to call a different doctor and they're gonna wait till i'm like eight or nine centimeters and then they'll call them um so i don't really like that but i mean what can i do i just had a contraction so my contractions are getting stronger i just had a really strong one and i'm feeling so tired and i have like like allergies so that doesn't help because I can't breathe through my nose look at him he's talking to girls even in pain we cannot stop being toxic ladies check your man <laughs> so I still feel like I can handle the pain but um, they told me, my, so my doctor is not here. Um, so they have someone on call and um, same for the epidural. Um, they informed me that it takes about an hour and 30 minutes for them to like get here and set everything up and have everything ready. Oh. And have everything ready. So, um, I already went and told them that I wanted to get the epidural, um, even though I'm, I don't really want it, but I asked for it just in case um, I can't handle the contractions, um, can't handle the pain. Um, so I just went ahead and, and told them to call because with my second baby, um, I dilated real quickly that... Um, I had asked for the epidural, and by the time they got here, um, it was too late. I couldn't get it anymore, um, and my doctor didn't make it um, to my delivery, so I technically delivered my baby by myself, and so I'm kind of scared that that's going to happen again, but we'll see. Tuve que traer a mi estilista porque... <risa> a ver, vamos a ver cómo nos deja el estilista. <risa> Thank you. So, this is the look. So, um, I ended up getting the epidural. They got here pretty quick. I wanted to wait it out a little longer, but they got here real quick. So, I couldn't say, wait, or I don't want it anymore. So, but yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, they just checked me. I'm at 8 centimeters. And it's 257. Yeah, 257. 
um, in the morning, April 21st. So it's 3.41, I'm super tired, but at the same time I can't sleep, and I'm just waiting to get to a 10. The beauty of becoming a mother. My baby is sleeping and he has not been wanting to eat. Um, he ate, he ate once he was born and then um, we've been trying to wake him up to eat and he just goes back to sleep. Um, so I don't know, it worries me a bit. But I trust him and I think he will eat once he's ready. So we are home, you guys. I was going crazy in that hospital. But finally, we are home. Baby's doing good, I'm doing good. <laughs> 